Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Rob Richards, and on today's PowerTech Training 101 video, we'll be addressing 10 of my personal favorite bench and dumbbell exercises. And for this, I'll be using the PowerTech Workbench. Really great, because it's got a whole number of different setups, decline, flat, various inclines, as well as sliding back and forward so it can attach to the machines. And these PowerTech Off-Center Dumbbells, which you can see look a little strange with the handle shifted over to one side, but there are some benefits for this. And we'll talk about this more throughout the video. So our first exercise, we're gonna hit shoulders. And for that, let's take the bench up to a near incline. So we're gonna start with shoulders. For this one, it's a curl and press, which looks like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is curling up, and then as I press, rotate my hand inwards 90 degrees. So if you pay close attention to where my palm is, it stays neutral, a hammer curl, and then as I press, I corkscrew, simultaneously rotating my hand forwards. So if I show without the weights, like that, in and back down. Palm neutral, press and rotate, full extension, come back down and curl. All right, so for exercise number two, we're also focusing on shoulders, and I'll demonstrate this with one arm for now. This is a dynamic movement. We're hitting sort of two types of exercise in one. And for this one, it's an Arnold press named after none other than the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's called that because he sort of put this dynamic exercise together for the shoulders. So palms facing forwards, both at the same time, what we're gonna do is open out the arms and then start to press into a full overhead extension of the arms. Then we reverse and pulling it back in. So we see the forearms are sort of parallel to my body. Open out and then start to press up. Full extension, squeeze the delts, pull it back around and back to the top of the chest. And look, at no time are the weights touching each other. So we're gonna keep tension on the muscle throughout the entire exercise. Let's take a look at exercise number three. For this, we're going to come down onto the arms. So I'm actually going to drop the bench down to an incline, like so. And these are called prone exercises. So we're basically laying face down onto the bench, which gives us access to the shoulders, the arms, the back. So let's take a look at a great one for the back. Now this is all about isolating the back too. So my arms hang low, parallel to each other. And what I'm gonna do is pull my shoulder blades up, row the elbows up towards the side of my body, actually aiming for the ceiling. And as I do, I feel the center of my back really work. I'm focusing on squeezing, contracting the back, and then getting that stretch in when my arms are at the bottom. Oh. But let's take a look at exercise four. For this one, an incline chest press. Now, again, we're gonna add a rotation in. So we're gonna start off hands neutral, meaning they're sort of facing each other, the palms. Allow our shoulder blades to fall back down so we're not working on the front of the shoulder blades. And then as we press up, we're gonna rotate our hands forwards Squeeze in the chest, reverse that movement back down, and repeat. I feel the forearms working. So we'll take a look at flies on this one. Another great one for the chest, but also to really work the forearms, the grip, and make benefit of these off-center dumbbells. Hands neutral, facing each other. Slight bend in the elbow, we're gonna open it up. Feel a stretch in our chest and drive it back up, being careful not to let the weights touch. And if you want, a little technique is to add that rotation in. Gives you a nice little squeeze in the lower region of the chest. Let's hit some arms on this one. 
So biceps, just like with the row, we're gonna keep palms forward, keep the upper arms fixed in that position, and then just curl up. Oh, that's a good one. Curl up the weights right towards the shoulders. And we can also turn this into more of a concentration curl or a hammer curl variation there. So skull crushers or French extensions look like this. Slight decline, if I show you with one arm, we're gonna bend at the elbow, bring that dumbbell right down towards just outside our face and then extend, squeeze in the back of the arm. So we can do this as alternative reps or both at the same time. <sighs> Exhale, squeeze the arms. Inhale as we lower them. <sighs> now a few variations here as well. We can perform one across the body, which looks like this. It's a different feeling in the arm, working a slightly different angle of the muscle. And that's what these sort of home workouts or limited equipment workouts are great for. Finding all the variations from your standard exercises and just seeing how they work and affect the muscles differently. For our eighth exercise, we're gonna take a look at the back of the legs on this one. Now, it requires a little bit of imagination. What we're doing with the dumbbell is placing it between our feet like so. I'll kind of shift around there. And then you wanna lay on the bench, knees just off. Now what happens is the base plate for that dumbbell rests between my feet like a rudder. So look at that, I can do a hamstring curl. The dumbbell stays upright throughout the full movement. What I'm doing here is just really getting in tune with the muscle. I can feel the hamstring stretch out. Now, when people think of bench and dumbbells, Often they go, well, how do I really train legs? There are a number of ways you can train legs. One of my favorite is a bench lunge. Dumbbells we're actually gonna take into our overhead position like so. And then as we bend that front knee, simultaneously, we're gonna press up on our dumbbells like this. Abs, let's finish on a good one for abs. So this one, let's take Take our weight down here. So I'm gonna perform a double crunch. What I mean by that is my feet are gonna go up on the bench like this. On my heels, upper abs and lower abs working at the same time here. I don't need to push it up too high. It's only about three or four inches, but enough that my abdominals can crunch and work hard for this exercise. And there we go, 10 somewhat basic, but we've changed them through several variations using the PowerTech workbench and these really cool PowerTech off-center Dumbbells, we have the rack there as well. So if you're at home, maybe you've got a boutique gym or you just wanna have access to some weights and bench, get your workout in whenever you want, check out this setup and more at powertech.com. And also be sure to check out more of our training videos on the YouTube channel. Tons of athletes, tons of equipment demos, see how they work, uh, all of the exercises that can be performed on them, the assembly build, and also a lot of athletes and coaches giving you some great tips, training advice as well. I am Rob Richards. Stay safe during this time. Keep washing your hands. Follow all of the guidelines. We'll get through this together. And on the other side, we'll be back in the gym getting your summer body back ready for summer. So until then, stay motivated, stay sane. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.